Hi guys, Quinio again from Market Graphics Devon, Application Engineer. So today I wanted to quickly show you guys how to make a material in Fusion 360. Now, people get confused between materials and appearances. Um, just a quick easy way to just fathom the difference or think about the difference between them is appearance, think about it just as a nice pretty look to something so it looks good. And a material or physical material is the actual physical material that it's made out of how it is made what is it actually for instance you could make um the material glass but set the material to be metal so it'll look like it's metal or some type of metal maybe steel or maybe copper like you see over here or whatever you want but it would still when you're running a um, simulation on it whatever it would still use the material it was made out of or material you assigned it so think about a material having its physical properties so how do we actually do this? Well, it's quite simple actually. Firstly, normally I jump to into my tools. So I've just got this plate open over here and you can see it's actually got a copper material assigned to it, not just an appearance. I'm going to go to tools, I'm going to go to manage our materials. Now, if you probably notice that in your materials, you only, you've got these locked material libraries, you can't really edit them. What I normally do is I create my own material library. Very simple, simple to do. All you do is just open, you say create a new material library, give it a name, etc., and then it will pop up over here. That's not really what I'm looking at doing right now. What I do want to do though is I want to create a new material. Now you could um, find the material that is similar to what you want. Metal, right click on it, go add to favorites. Generally, it will always be working in favorites, and then we'll drag it to our other library. And then in here, you can click the little edit button, and then it pops up all the information about it. Now, another way to quickly get to this, by the way, is to use the button at the bottom here, add material. If you go create a new material, it's gonna ask you to specify a, another material, basically to use as a base. So let's say for instance, I went to steel mild and I double clicked on that. You notice that this section just quickly flashed and it changed to suit. If you actually check the material uh, in mechanical strength and stuff, you'll notice it'd be a little bit different. I'm just going to click the close select browser because that was just for selecting something as a base. So it helps you make your life a little bit faster and easier. I'm going to drop down mechanical because normally what would happen is you'd want to fill out both your thermal, mechanical and strength. To make our lives a bit faster and easier, I'm just going to use this. So I used steel mild. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, well, let me change this up a bit. Don't worry about the name for now. I'll change it in a bit. You can actually just change it if you want by right clicking, saying renaming and like saying, for instance, 3CR12. So now it's got that name, but remember I've just renamed it. I haven't changed its properties. So I'm just going to go to, normally it'll be an identity and you can see it says mild steel there, etc. You could even change its identity to 3CR12. Any comments, etc. Maybe it's a uh, metal. Who manufactures it, costs URL, etc. etc. Appearance, what does it look like? Maybe it's not exactly that color. Maybe it is a more. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to go for a weird greenish color. I know 3012 is not the color, I'm just great at doing that. So that's what it looks at, like. So it's quite interesting, your material is not only physical, but it can also contain an appearance. It's uh, what it looks like as well. Also think about it, this might be a coat of paint that you had on afterwards, it's up to you. Jumping back to my physical, I'm just gonna quickly fill in the mechanical properties, uh, not really the thermal or the strength right now, I'm just leaving that it is, you'd have to go and fill that out. Now, what I did do previously is I did quickly go on the net and grab some information here. So as you can see, I've got the Young's modulus, science ratio, 
um, sheer modulus in the density. Now I'm not an engineer, but I can kind of get my way around some of this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go copy pasta. So Young's modulus, cool. I'm going to copy it from here, copy, and paste it into here. Notice it automatically filled that in for me. Science ratio, copy, and paste it into there. Now I want to quickly show you something here that's pretty cool because what you can do is when you copy and paste with different units, megapascal, gigapascal, notice it changes the units as well. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing anything, as I said, I'm not an engineer um, when it comes to <laughs> the actual engineering side. 7.85 gram to the centimeter cube. And that is kg to meter cubed. Change the units. Dampening coefficient, not don't really have any information about that, so I'm just going to leave it as is. So this is what you'd basically do also, if, like I said, for thermal, strength, etc. going through. Now, when I hit apply, it's going to add it in here, or add it and accept it, etc. What I can do as well is I can go click and hold on it to drag it, and then I can drag it to my one of my libraries. Now you'll notice when I jump around to my libraries, you can now see my 3CR12. Cool. Gonna close this. Then what I can do is while I'm working around, if I am working, etc. I can say modify physical material and I can say okay, let's add this to I've got MGFX text. Ha, huh, three CR twelve. Or I can look into my favorites 3CR12 and drag it in there. The reason why it looks a little bit gray is because I, I did this previously so it's remembering the old little thumbnail. Otherwise same thing over there. If I dragged it back to copper you can see it's now absorbed those details. In fact if I were to right click on here and I go edit and I go advanced you can actually see the physical details and mechanical properties have been pulled across. This you can then also use when you are running your stress analysis, etc. on it. Okay, guys, you can see, so putting in a physical material may be a little bit more complex and adding in just a normal appearance, but the thing is, it's an actual real world, real life thing. It's not like just a fancy looking item. It's actually a practical real way to add in your materials. Thanks guys, I hope this has helped. Please, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Otherwise, have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks, bye.